Welcome back from the break. You're watching The Morning Rush here on Metro Television. I've mentioned earlier that I've got a conversation coming up, and that is about air quality and how it affects our health. And join us in studio this morning is uh, the last episode was in January. We were talking to Michael Kansa. Yes, but she's back in here uh, to help us with this. She's from the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, Ridge Hospital. Dr. Eva Vera Titifio is here with us. Good morning. Good morning, Desmond. How are you? We're good. We're good. Good to see you. Same here. Yeah. Um, so the quality of our, of, our, of our health, I think that uh, of the air, I think that a couple of weeks back, there was a, a survey like that, or yeah. a report like that. Yeah. And I'm sure you must have seen it. Yeah. And generally, when you go out and you see what is happening to the air, mm -hmm. the atmosphere, what do you make of it? So um, there's been a couple of studies that have come up regarding the current air pollution mm. globally. And Ghana is not left out. Ghana has its own study done by the EPA. Yeah. And when you look at the statistics, it's, I, I don't know if there'll be an improvement because we are checking mm. out more cars. People are using fossil fuels mm -hmm. to um, power these cars yeah. and then for generators and all that. And we're putting up um, buildings and industry. So mm -hmm. pollution is going to be something that is going to be with us for a long time. Okay. Now, what would help us to curb pollution are the laws we put in place. And unfortunately, in Ghana, I don't think those laws are so <laughs> tight enough <laughs> yes. for us to it's hope not to working. see. Yeah, yeah. So for us to hope to see an improvement anytime soon. Yeah, yeah and a, a lot of people to are burning. Um, exactly. Everybody feels like I'm in a mumbo mumbo. Exactly. Like I just you know burn yeah. a thing yeah. and, 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 and it pulls the air. It. Yeah. How does it affect us? Okay. I mean, are, are we even conscious of what the effects would be on our health? So when you say con, I, I really like that statement, mm. conscious. Not many people are conscious of it. Mm. And so they do it like what Riley said, this is my space, this mm -hmm. is my land, so I can do what I want to do in my mm. land. Forgetting that it has detrimental effects not only on you, the individual, mm -hmm. but on the land itself, on the buildings you have around you, and even on livestock. That's how far the effects go. Okay. But, I mean, if I should tell you not to burn, for, um, burn rubbish in front of your house, you probably would be offended because you think, I don't know... I don't have a right to yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. But then people come down later with various respiratory conditions. Chiefly these days, we see more asthma-related conditions on the right. You see people with um, other chronic lung conditions worsening because mm. of this increased pollution. And then you're also seeing a rise in lung cancer. I read um, an article regarding Minnesota where they made a comparison between the urban areas and then the rural areas. Mm -hmm. And there's a 50% fold increase in asthma among their children. Hmm. I can't say same for Ghana, because Ghana. you don't have yeah, data no, to yeah. support yeah. it, so I won't be able to talk much about it. But then, yes, I mean, air pollution, not only from smoke, but even dust. Mm -hmm. Most of our roads are not hard. And drivers drive as if with impunity, you know, mm -hmm. so <laughs> everybody driving anyhow, yeah. And the dust just, it coats people's buildings. Mm. This brown haze just yeah. coats the building. Yeah. And then you breathe the fine particles in. It settles in your lungs. It gives you pneumonia. You get asthma. And you later get lung... Um, chronic lung conditions. Some even go as bad as getting like um, heart-related conditions and ischemic heart diseases, stroke. It has to detrimental effect. But we, we just are either oblivious to it mm -hmm. or we are refusing to accept that it does affect us in the long run. I like the bit about, because when we talk about the factories, like it, it, it looks like, oh, it's far-fetched. But in our, in our, our homes yeah. or in our communities exactly. where the roads are not tired, yeah. and so you have the dust always. Said and me. just imagine, you sit in a Trotsky, mm -hmm. And you use one those stretch, roads. by the time you come back, your hair has changed to brown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. So just imagine those by the roadside exactly. selling, yeah. and you inhale that the, yeah, whole, the, the day. whole day. Yeah. What does what it does to your to exactly. your system? Yeah. That's really crazy. And then you end up sometimes buying from them, eating the food. So we are actually just recycling the <laughs> air over and over again. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah, when we when we talk about it, it really sounds very it's very sad. serious. Yeah. Mm. But it's like most often serious decisions are not taken, are not taken to exactly. curve these exactly. situations because exactly. I particularly have a problem with curfews. Mm. Mm. I have a big problem. <laughs> so I can imagine those who are selling, exactly. who are yeah. inhaling yeah. All left the time. and right, everything. Exactly. But then what are the little things we can do, I mean, to protect ourselves? So yeah. I was, you know when it started, I was just going to jump in to mm -hmm. talk about it. In Ghana, our greatest source is from these old cars we use. Mm. The mm. amount of <laughs> pollution from yeah. them is crazy. Mm. What can be done? Lots, lots, lots. Lots. You know, yeah. 
when, when I was in uh, <laughs> the university, right. one of the th stories that I said, if I become a journalist, I'm going right. to really publish and bash mm -hmm. whoever, I'll say to the media, was these cars, exactly. the old, the old dusty, ones. rusted mm. cars exactly. that need I don't want we to mention specific. Yes. Exactly. If we go to 37, we know some of the cars that exactly. go to from 37 to Osu. And towards those last um, stretches. Okay, <laughs> I, have, I have my spots you that... <laughs> And <laughs> you see, someone actually did tell me that this fight, if I start, I can't win. No, I always ask, when I see such cars on the road, I'm like, how did they pass the road where the <laughs> exactly. like to get together? Exactly. Together. exactly. I'm, I'm exactly. still having been able to and wrap you know my head around it. And you know what you? Like, the, this particular car can be right in front of you exactly. from, mm. let's say, Adenta, Medina, all the way to Accra. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you're and just inhaling so it. You know, yeah. the, 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 the kind it's of so things that come too. in. So, I mean, in all of this, and then was asking, how, 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 what are the little so, things you can, can do? Mm. So, the little thing you can do to protect yourself, wear your face mask. <laughs> because they are going in this yeah. way. I mean, some could get into your eye, irritate your eye, give you like um, conjunctivitis yeah. and all that. I mean, just the irritation. Mm. But at least if you're protected this way with a face mask, yeah. you know, at least you have some protection. Or if you like, can I have a face shield? I have 10,000 yeah. face shields. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's. it's and you see, just like COVID-19, which was a respiratory infection, it still follows the same route. Yeah. I keep telling people that COVID is on the rise. Mm -hmm. And they think I'm joking. But COVID is on the rise. It's COVID surging is on again. The rise. Yeah, it's surging again. We are still reporting cases of COVID-19. Wow. Ah, COVID is there. Of course, you did. Now, where if you can say they go? <laughs> hey, hey. So, I mean, okay. I think we should, get, we should get used to wearing face the masks. The face masks, yeah. okay. Not, not only because of covid but you see, when I meet you, mm. I don't know what you're coming with. Yeah, yeah, you don't right. know what I'm coming with. Yes. So protect me and let me protect, protect you. That's you. why I should just wear the face mask. Face it's mask. uncomfortable. I mean, having to wear face mask the whole day oh, can no, be really be difficult. It's cool. No, it can be. In some sense, when you need to breathe in and all, it, it gets a bit uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. Health, exactly. For, for, yeah. for, for me, I think it sometimes it's Sometimes it's way. But when you get into some setting space, you should yeah, wear it. Yeah, yeah. you, you should wear it. So, yeah. so basically, if you are going to town, yeah. you're, oh, you're sitting at the shop, wear the face mask. So oh. depending on where yeah. you, you see, one thing we also need to notice is that um, your risk of getting affected via air pollution is mm. based on your age. Okay. your location and if you have any underlying health condition. Mm. So if you are, for instance, in a place around some... Right, baby, in Akai, I will say maybe it's legal and, you know, the, it's not all neat, <laughs> but, but, I mean, world, compare, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, compare it to up, maybe, like, not chocolate, even chocolate has not, maybe my area, Dansoma, where they haven't tied my roots since mm. 1999. <laughs> so it's and it's still like, Dansoma, Sahara down, at the same okay. <laughs> ah, okay. They haven't tied it since okay. 1999, and mm. they just come and then pour sand, sand. and then we have yeah. hope, oh, they're going to tie the road, and they never happens, yeah. So you can imagine the amount of dust that mm. yeah. I mean, you always have to inhale when like drivers pass. Yeah. yeah. So a place like this, out just wear your face mask mm. every time. Just stay protected. Okay. Now, if you're driving in a car and can afford AC, please roll your glasses. It, up. That's important. <laughs> if you oh, yeah. have enough wool, just yeah, just roll your glasses. And up. just and exactly. you know, people feel when they roll down, they, it will consume a lot of yeah. wool. But like research has actually shown it that doesn't if consume. you roll up. If, if it's down, mm -hmm. the amount of food that is consumed mm -hmm. is higher than when you are rolling up. up. Yeah, right. so people should actually do that. Okay, so uh, there you have it from Dr. Eververa, Tete Fuel. Please protect yourself. The basic thing that you can do is to mask, uh, up. Uh, mask up, you know, <laughs> wear, your, wear your mask. Yeah. In all of these, uh, in the pollution <laughs> we find ourselves in Accra, and the report that was uh, done earlier, it says Accra is one of the... No, mm. it's top yeah. the list. Yeah. It's top the list as yeah. the most polluted city. Yes. Um, that's crazy. This one. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. just imagine, no, it's if it's crazy. Lagos, you Lagos is very big. Exactly. Yeah. Right? But Accra is so Accra polluted. Is so small. No. And we are saying that we are polluted. So it means that it's the... the, the what we are producing? The index. The index will show that then... Charlie, that one, I want to be very... No, yeah. it's actually it's, high. It's, it's high. It's crazily high. It's, Even it's from really Lavender high. Hill itself to those who not sell... Yeah. Along the coast, it's, it's just terrible. Wow. Ocean is crazy. Doc, terrible. Thank you so much for coming. For yeah, and um, so please just mask up. Very, mask very important. Up. Very important.